Welcome to the basement. Welcome to the basement. Is there such thing as a not scary basement? Definitely not in this movie. <laughs> not in this I had actually forgotten. Uh, I don't venture into the basement uh, in the movie. Uh, and the first person to venture into the basement is a very brave person. Yes. And when you see it in the movie, you're like... Why? Don't go why are you down there? Well, I mean, every scary movie, you're like, why are you going down there? Like, bring 80 flashlights. They never do. It's always dark. It's always a bad decision. I'm still scared because we're in the basement. I know. You're like, oh, I'm <laughs> I really, I'm just, yeah, checking everywhere because you should always... Well, no, someone. don't check everywhere in the basement. Just leave. Because you'll always find something that you don't want to find. Get out. Get out. I think people like to be scared. Like it gives you a, it gives you the thrill, but it also gives you like a weird sense of accomplishment. Right? I think any kind of communal experience is fun, and like when you come through something where you get scared, such as our movie or this experience, yeah. it bonds you together. And it's also it's scary, but it's also fun, and you laugh afterwards. A lot of times, people scream or get scared, and then they laugh afterwards. Yeah, and it's a fun it's a fun experience it's at the great. end of it. Well, I'm not going to tell you the scariest part of the movie because you just kind of have to see it on Marche. Welcome to the Never Ever, basically. Yes, this is, this is the Never Ever, and yeah. it's a very good representation of the Never Ever. It's really cool. And um, <clears throat> I, I don't want to do it again. <laughs> well, thank you. We did it. You know, some of the rooms are constructed that you have absolutely no idea where something could come from, but you know something is going to come out. Yeah. And you still get surprised. Yeah. I mean, I, really, it really was like, there's like a hint of nostalgia, obviously, because, you know, we spent so much time um, making this movie, and uh, the replications are really, really quite incredible. Like, the artistry is amazing. Um, but yeah, come and get scared, is all I have to say. It's like, come. <laughs> there are some great props from the movie, and great noises and sounds. Got some great players here. <clears throat> yes, there are some wonderful Ready performers. Ready to interact. Ready to help you have with an experience. You. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's pretty crazy to be back here because some of the things in here I, I remember seeing and some things are, are new. There's the tea party set, you see that over oh, there? Oh yeah, the tea party, I remember that. Remember? I remember that. That's a creepy scene. <laughs> that is a creepy that scene. That is a very creepy scene. He's remember? right behind you. Ooh, say that again right there. He says he's right behind you. Oh, uh, that, I gotta go. <laughs> So what's scarier, the movie or the experience? For me, because I know what happens in the movie, this is a lot scarier. Wait, you heard that first here. The experience is even scarier than the movie. Yes, they had a couple of us screaming. A couple of us. A couple of us. Mainly me. <laughs> I think they can expect to be it, scared. It, I was scared. I made the movie. I know everything that happens in the movie. Oh, I co-wrote it, directed it. I know exactly what you do in the movie, and I was scared. I was scared too. What? And then at the end there, I screamed, and that was a that was a genuine life or death moment scream. What made you scream? It was the the costume. I'm not gonna say are what's sure, in are you there. Sure, it was a I'm costume. Gonna, I'm sure it was a costume. But it did scare me. It was terrifying. <laughs> it scared me. I Without being scared. It you was, guys made me go first you in know, the room by myself. We knew you'd have a great scream. And let me tell you something. If you want to hear a great horror movie scream, Piper Braun's got it. The experience <laughs> takes the movie and takes it to the next level. Because it if does. she was scared and I was scared and we made the movie, you know it's scary. Yeah, and when, if you made the movie and you're scared even on the, 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 the set... And you're still scared? That's that's something else. Chauncey in the film. He is Alice's imaginary friend. Originally Jessica's imaginary friend. Yeah, I would yeah. say that's pretty spot on. Although there is something else going on with Chauncey. Something mysterious. That Bear you have is. to see the movie to fully understand. Oh, yeah. This bear may be cute, but don't let this bear fool you. Remember that. And he will try. He will try. Because remember, what was one of our catchphrases on the movie? The bear is... The bear is not there. What does that mean? Uh-oh. No. Oh, no. no. That's not no. good. That's no. not good. No. That's not good. No. That's not good. No. No. I have to see like, what I've been seeing. Something's coming. What is coming for us? Oh. I'm going to start off our session with just simply asking you, what are your childhood fears? Oh, 
of air. Push the bear! No, 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 no!